I would like us to jump right into it and start off with, for you, what came out as a standpoint from the AGM today? I would imagine that you were forward looking and looking at what the company is going to be headed, where the company is headed in the future. What stood out the most for you from today's meeting? Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I think the thing that stands out for me most, and it probably has done in the, the four AGMs I've attended, is the, the passion of the uh, smaller shareholders that we have. There's, there's a real sense of, of ownership and, and belonging from those shareholders. And that gives us, we sort of fit in with our whole brand position of, of wanting to be uh, one of the most loved or the most loved brand in the daily lives of Africans. Oh, oh. So, you know, we're, we feel we're in a strong position going forward. Andrew, I want to ask you about listing on the stock exchange in, in Lusaka. What's been going on with that? Yeah, it's a little complicated. We, we remain a listed company. Um, we're still Phil Zambia. Um, we're operating under the brand name of Airtel at the moment. We, as part of the Barty Airtel takeover in uh, 2010 of the Zane Group, um, it was deemed, although this was done at a, a, a much higher level, at a, a group holding level to take over, it was deemed by the Securities and Exchange Commission here that there was a change in substantial, uh, substantive control of the local company, which triggered off a mandatory offer. So there had to be an offer made uh, to the minority shareholders, and that reduced our shareholding down to just over 3%. Um, then, then a, a process that there were some challenges legally, which led to suspension of the shares, and those legal issues have not yet been resolved. 